Hellboy Studios and today I just want to talk take a minute to tell you guys about the custom NPCs mod now I did show you guys the mod in uh, a later video so you can go ahead and check that out um, but I was wanting to talk about something in particular um it's not in the mod well it is in the mod that's not what I meant to say but um the creative mod didn't uh, say how to do it so I'm gonna tell you guys how you can do it now what I was wanting to talk about was how you can add in your own skin into the uh, custom NPCs mod um, and first off yes you can do this um, but what you do is get the skin that you want put it on your computer like re like any regular minecraft and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that skin in the custom NPCs folder. And if I'm correct, you double click on the percent app data percent, and I'll take you to the Minecraft folder on your computer. Then, once you go into Minecraft, there should be a custom NPCs folder. Go into that, go to assets, go to assets. I, I think I'm saying it correctly. Um, Forgive me if I'm not saying this correctly, <laughs> or let me know in the comments. Um, assets, go in there, and then go to textures, and I think you you will be able to put the skin in there, and it should pop up in the game. So yeah, yeah, that's how you add your own skin. If you need, if it if it's uh, not working, um, what you might have to do is message the creator of the mod, and he'll tell you, you know, whenever he can. You know he'll let you know and stuff um and yeah I just figured I'd let you guys know cuz a lot of people have been asking this cuz and a few people a lot of people have been asking me as well um but yeah I just figured I'd let you guys know you know because uh you know a lot of people have been asking cuz they want to add uh, their own skin stuff to the custom NPC and stuff but they don't know how so yeah that's that's how you do it but if it's like I said if it still doesn't work and uh, you do what I and you did what I said um, message uh, somehow message the um, nops nopes I think if I if I'm quick, quickly on the minecraft forum and let them know because he's the one who created the mod. And he'll mess you back whenever you can. You know, whatever. You know. And he'll tell you uh, what to do and stuff. He'll mess you on what to do and stuff. So, yeah, just let him know if it doesn't work. But if it does work, that's how you do it. You know, you should be good to go. And you can add any skin you want. Also, one thing I did want to mention is if you have like a a skin in a mod, like for for example the Mo Chickens mod, which I did do a, a sh which I did show you guys in a later video, which you can go check that out. But for example, if you added the Mo Chickens mod, that mod has skins in it. So you know the custom if you were uh, to put a custom NPC down and make it into a chicken. You'd have some chicken skins to choose from, from another mod. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's kind of like a bonus. So if you if, the, if there's a mod that you have in your game, you know that will have skins in it. You know what I'm saying? Like the Thumbcraft. That's like a um alchemist kind of kind of mod that has skins in it. Although I don't think you can use the armor. That's 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 a bad example. But you guys get what I mean. You guys get what I mean. So yeah, I just figured I'd let you guys know because a lot of people are asking, and I figured I just want to clear that up for you guys. So yeah, this is the Hellboy Studios, and I will see you guys in the next video.